Good morning, friends. Miss Sydney is here with another virtual story time with Ida Public Library. Thanks so much for joining us on this rainy Monday morning. It is the perfect morning to stay inside and share a book with our pets. Do you have a pet at home? Your pet could be a dog, a cat, a hamster, a goldfish. Pets are animals that we help take care of that are our furry friends that live with us. So the story that I chose today is about pets. It's called Hondo and Fabian, and it's by Peter McCarty. And he won a Caldecott medal for this book. That means this book won an award because people liked it so much and they wanted other people to know it was a great picture book. So let's read about Hondo and Fabian together and then we'll talk a little bit about pets at our houses or pets that you like. Ready? Hondo and Fabian. Fabian on the windowsill, Hondo on the floor. Two sleepy pets in their favorite places. Wake up, Hondo. It's time to go. Hondo will have an adventure. So what kind of pet is Hondo? A dog. Good job. What kind of pet is Fabian? A cat. Yeah, cats and dogs are two very popular pets. Lots of people have those. Fabian will stay home. Where is Hondo going? Riding in the car. Do your pets like to go for a ride in the car? Miss Sydney's pets do not like to go for a ride in the car, but some get really, really excited when they get to go on a trip with their owners. Let's see where Hondo's going. <gasps> Hondo is going to the beach to meet with his friend, Fred. What are the dogs doing together? They're running in the sand. They're having so much fun. Fabian is going to the living room to play with the baby. So Hondo and Fabian are both playing with friends in different places. Two happy dogs dive into the waves. Splash! So dogs must like to swim. That's something I learned from this book. Fabian dives for the door. Hondo has fun with Fred. Look at them chasing each other in the water. Fabian has fun too. What is Fabian doing? Unrolling all the toilet paper. Did Fabian make a mess on the floor? Oh my goodness, silly kitty. Do your pets at home ever get into some mischief? Something that they think is fun ends up being a big mess. Now Hondo is getting hungry. He wishes he could eat the fish. Should Hondo eat the fish? No, maybe Hondo should wait for some dog food. Huh? Ooh, Fabian's getting hungry too. He wishes he could eat the turkey sandwich. Should Fabian eat a turkey sandwich? No, maybe you should wait for some cat food, right? At last, Hondo comes home. It's time for dinner. Who's waiting in the window to see his friend? Fabian is waiting for Hondo. Side by side, Hondo and Fabian eat their food. They were patient and they got a yummy dinner, it looks like. What does Hondo's bowl say? Dog. What do you think Fabian's bowl says? Cat. That's right. Hondo and Fabian, full and fat in their favorite places once again. Good night, Hondo. Good night, Fabian. Good night, baby. The end. So Hondo and Fabian, they had two different kinds of days, didn't they? Yeah, they sure did, but they were both pets. So one pet got to go in the car ride, meet the other dog. He did things that dogs like to do. Fabian stayed home with the baby and did things that cats like to do. Very good. 
Pets are animals that it's our job to take good care of, right? Having a pet is a big responsibility. You have to help feed your pet. You have to make sure they have fresh water and that they get exercise, right? Hondo went to the beach to run with his friend as good exercise. That's important. So now we're going to sing a song about pets. Do you know what sounds different pets make? Let's see. I bet you'll be able to catch on to this song really, really fast. It's called I Have a Pet. Are you ready? I have a pet. He is a dog. And he says woof, 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 woof. Good job. Here's our next pet. I have a pet. She is a cat. And she says meow, 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 meow. Good job. Here's our cat and our dog. You can have other pets too. Here's a pet. I have a pet. He is a bird. What does a bird say? And he says tweet, 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 tweet. Good job. What about a pet that lives in a tank with water? I have a pet. He is a fish. And he says blub, 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 blub. Make your cheeks look big like a fish. Blub, blub, blub. I've got one more pet. I have a pet. She is a bunny. And she says hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Can you do it too? Hop, hop, hop like a bunny. Good job. So a bunny, a bird, a fish, a cat, and a dog are all kinds of pets that you might have at your house. You might even have other pets like a turtle, a lizard, a hamster. I really want to hear about what kinds of pets that you have. So my activity idea today is I want you to draw a picture of your pet. Or if you don't have a pet at your house, a pet that you want to adopt and bring into your family when you get older. It could be any type of pet that you want. But what I want you to do is draw what that pet looks like and then try your best to write down some things or work with a grown-up who can help you write down some things that are special about your pet. So you've probably seen them walking around maybe behind Miss Sydney. Miss Sydney has a lot of pets. I have six cats at my house and they're all my pets. And one of my pets is a brand new pet. She's a new cat we just adopted last week. Her name is Pancake. So I chose to draw a picture of Pancake. You can see Miss Sydney's not the best artist, but I had fun making this picture anyway. I drew what Pancake looked like and then I chose to write some special things about what she looks like. So Pancake has soft ears, green eyes, short legs, and a long tail. You could also write about your pet's favorite things to eat, favorite toy to play with, what you love to do with your pet the most. So this is Miss Cindy's activity idea. If you want to share a picture of what you drew about your pet or a pet that you hope to get when you get older, I can't wait to see it. So put a comment down below with a picture of your pet. Have fun and give your pet some extra love today. I am so glad that you joined us for story time. Miss Jill will be back tomorrow and we can't wait to see you then.